and welcome to our episode on latest and most recent FDA updates on Inclaseron. I'm your host, Dr. Nigar, and today we have some exciting news to share with you. The FDA has recently approved a medication called Inclaseron. It's the first in class small interfering RNA formula developed by Novartis, and it aims to lower cholesterol levels in patients with specific cardiovascular conditions. Let's jump into the details. Enclisiran is a medication designed for individuals with heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, HEFH in short, and atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, ASCVD in short. It's intended for those who require additional lowering of low-density lipoprotein cholesterol, also known as LDLC. This innovative treatment works by inhibiting the translation of a protein called PCSK9, which helps to reduce LDLC levels. Now, the use of siRNA or small interfering RNA is a new therapeutic approach in treating various diseases that are difficult to address with conventional drugs. siRNAs are double-stranded RNA molecules that silence target genes, ultimately preventing the production of specific proteins. However, there have been concerns about delivery, stability of target effects, and immunostimulatory responses associated with siRNA, which are currently being investigated. Enclisiron has shown promising results during the phase 3 clinical trials known as Orion 9, 10, and 11. These trials involved over 3,400 participants with ASCVD or HEFH, all of whom had elevated LDLC levels despite receiving maximally tolerated statin therapy. The medication proved to be effective in reducing LDLC by up to 52% compared to the placebo group. One of the remarkable aspects of Inclaseron is its sustained LDLC reduction over time. It accomplishes this by enhancing the liver's natural ability to inhibit PCSK9 protein production, thus helping to maintain healthier cholesterol levels. It's important to note that Inclaseron's safety and effectiveness in pediatric patients are yet to be discovered. When it comes to dosage, Inclisiron is administered as a single subcutaneous injection of 284 mg initially, followed by another injection at 3 months and subsequently every 6 months. This regimen allows for two maintenance doses per year. As of now, Inclisiron stands as the only FDA-approved siRNA therapy for reducing LDLC levels, commonly referred to as bad cholesterol. Like any medication, Inclisiron may have some potential adverse effects. These include injection site reactions, joint pain, urinary tract infections, diarrhea, bronchitis, pain in extremities, and shortness of breath. However, it's essential to discuss these concerns with the healthcare providers who can provide a personalized guidance. In conclusion, the FDA's approval of Inclisiron marks a significant milestone in cardiovascular treatment. With its improved efficacy and lowering LDL cholesterol, Inclisiron has the potential to reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases and improve disease-free survival in patients. By addressing a critical global health crisis, this medication is expected to save lives and enhance patient outcomes. Before we come to an end, I would like to take a moment to mention that our episode on latest and most recent FDA updates on Inclisiron is brought to you by MedSynapse. So if you're looking to stay updated with the latest advancements in the medical field, MedSynapse is the place to be. It's a community where doctors connect, learn from each other, and access valuable resources to stay at the forefront of medical knowledge. Thank you for joining us today. Stay tuned for more episodes packed with knowledge and valuable insights. Goodbye for now.